It is sad in a way, but uh, Charlie and I announced this morning that we've decided not to return to the Olympics in Pyeongchang in, in 2018. Um, and like I said, in a way it feels sad, but it's a decision that uh, we took three years to make, uh, which is a long time. And, and we were asked the question many, many times, are you coming back? And um, it took us that long because we wanted to do the decision justice and really think it through and leave ourselves open to every opportunity over the course of those three years. And, and so on the other hand, it's also very exciting because we feel like we made the decision um, of our own accord, which is always a nice way to come to some sort of conclusion. And just so everyone knows, this is not retirement. Not right. Retirement. Yeah, no, this isn't Your retirement. Your publicist is watching somewhere. Lynn, this is yeah. not retirement. She threatened our lives. <laughs> she, threatened, <laughs> she threatened my life. So does that mean the door is open for, like, 2022? Would you guys consider... I mean, 2022 would be interesting, but not as interesting as 2026. So <laughs> <laughs> that's a challenge right there. Yes. We're going to wait until our children are old enough to compete against us, <laughs> and then we're going to pair up with them and compete against each other. Right. So. Yeah.